At Fox, how are musicians making their money from their music? Well, joining us this morning to discuss monetizing your music is none other than recording artist and daytime live host. Um, I said, it's Craig Thompson. I look for him. I said, who's Craig Thompson? Who's that person? Yeah. <coughs> I never know. Well, Boy, nowadays, I mean, I know Craig What Thompson. is your middle name? Yeah. My middle name, I have two. Patrick Anthony. Oh. It's like Craig, Patrick Anthony. I like Craig But, but, but your name is yeah. rather distinguished. Craig yeah, you know. Patrick Anthony. Well, uh, that is, you know, we kind of keep it. Yeah. Whatever. So yeah. We're 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 Yeah. Yeah. No. I am one of those old-time collectors of music, um, and, I, and I don't understand the, the, the computer thing, so I still buy CD, only to find out that I can't find nowhere to play to it. buy a CD. To play it. Yeah, but I don't know where you can <laughs> buy a CD anymore. There are no more record stores, and in up to probably recently, 10 years ago, you had record stores in Jamaica that you could go to. No, I, I personally get CD at Derek Ariat, man. Derek Ariat still have yeah. CD. Okay. Music, music, yeah, probably man. music, man. Of course. But you Derek Ariat. Yeah, so how CD you make money? Because the CD is not, that's not where you make it, just by selling. No. I'm asking, by the way. No, as an artist, no. I mean, record sales nowadays is like peanuts in comparison to, to streaming and, 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 and your performing rights. So nowadays, I mean, CDs, selling records is like, if you sell a lot of records, it's amazing. So like what Charlie Black did the other day when he got certified gold, that's his record sales. That's, that's, that's a big deal in these times now. So... And then, and then Charlie's <coughs> money would be different if Charlie didn't write the song from the writer's money, right. which would be different from the producer's money, right. which would be different from the publisher's money. So, okay. Well, well pub publishing is, is what you collect when you, when you write the song. So it's, right. it's all a matter of intellectual property, right. you know, and them call it IP. So right. what happens is that as the, as the writer of the song, you are entitled to a certain amount of money. As the performer, you are entitled to a certain amount of money. As the producer, which is the composer, which is the writer of the musical aspect of the song, you are entitled to a certain amount yeah. of money. And as the owner, the master, you are entitled to a certain amount Who of gets the lion's well. share of that? Who usually? gets the lion's share? Hmm. It depends, you know. I would say the owner of the master. Mm -hmm. However, as an artist, nowadays, because the, the music that I've been putting out recently, I own my master's 50%. So I own a share of the master recording as well as my publishing. Okay. So artists can negotiate for ownership of the master. No, I, but a lot of Jamaican artists don't. But it's still a good business, though, isn't it? To be an artist? Yeah, isn't it? You get a little vibe, a little hype, and go there, and you know people know your face. And I mean, how you mean is a good. It's, it's, it's <coughs> if you don't words, know the business, it's easy. You can live off and comfortably with yes, your family. If you, yeah, if you know what you're doing, you can live off of it. Because I mean, as a part, of, as a member, former member of TOK, yeah. we still are able with things that we've done in the past. We still are able to sustain four families. Mm -hmm. You get a royalty. You get a royalty check. Pretty yeah. much every month, because wherever your music is played around every the world, quarter. Mm. right, you get a yeah man, you money for that. And we wrote all our music. Yeah. How many? You, you mentioned to sim the different areas. Um, you, one person can do all of that. Or yeah man. Can you? <coughs> yeah man. So I have songs where I own almost everything. I play the instruments. I I, I produce the song. I write the song. I sing the song. So mm. that's the way to go. Yeah man, that's the best way. If you mm. can do all of that, do it. Mm -hmm. If you can do all. But that, don't you kind? I mean, you're a producer, but. The, the average, I don't want to say the average role, but an artist just coming up. Would he not need a producer to show him the ropes and things? It's, it's don't you run the risk of doing it yourself? It might not be what you want at the end. Sometimes, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, sometimes it's better to get it done than to get it done perfectly. Um, or to get it perfect, you know. So sometimes you will be trying to get this thing perfect and you never get it done. So a lot of times you have artists that are pretty good, very talented, and them approaching producers and the producers not working with them and they need to get the music out there because as an artist I can tell you from experience there's a burning desire to get your voice heard it's not just for going to the studio and make some noise you want people to hear what it is that you have to say so I mean for them if they possess the capability to produce a song then do it by all means there's a notion that Jamaican artists in particular have not educated themselves enough about the business side of these things and have true. lost out quite significantly um, because of that being take advan taken advantage of by labels. Um, and you know, so sometimes it's not, it's, not, it's not so much taken advantage of it. Because the whole, the whole purpose of a label 
is to exploit the talents of an artist. So that, that is really... And you that use is, the word exploit very nuanced, they are Yeah, that, that, but that's really, that's, really, that's really their job, to get the music out to as mm -hmm. many people as possible for the least amount of money. Okay. For the, for the lowest cost. So, right, but not at the expense. It shouldn't be at the expense of the artist. Be. But, but that, that happens so a lot. What, so, right. So that's what I'm going to say. No, so if, if, you don't, if, you don't, if you don't know the business, then the record label is going to seek the best possible deal for themselves. Yeah. So you know it's up to you to seek the best possible deal for you. And sometimes a, a deal is not necessarily what you want. Correct. So, I said, sorry. Yeah. Go on, no, James. We, we, they said we have to go, go right on. now, so. We have, we have to go already. Yeah, I was going to ask another one, but they said we have to go. Okay. So, do that then. We have to go. So, why is me and not you? But I said, so Simone. Simone. Yeah, but we're a team. Okay. Simone, out. Still to come, we hit our smile runway as Mama Yashi shows us her collection. The first series news in five with Oshane. All right. Oshane Masters. Yeah, Thanks, Craig. Let's welcome back. Patrick, Anthony. <laughs>